Shalom, shalom and welcome. Welcome to White Rose Family. My name is Simoniah, and these are the words I'm compelled to present before an awakening nation. My brothers and sisters, this is the 52nd installment of White Rose Family. As you can see by the title of this segment, there is much to discuss. There's much to reveal. I want to bring your attention to the words enclosed, sealed, release, flow of the spirit. Enclosed, sealed, release, flow of the spirit. My brothers and sisters, this segment and the next two videos following it, they will be under the other two playlist listings. And I'll speak of them more in a minute. But these next three videos are very critical and they will bring some enlightenment to those who want to understand what is about to happen, what is about to unfold in these end times that are not specifically detailed in the scriptures, but they 100% connect with the scriptures, meaning that they could have only come from the voice of the spirit of the almighty father, in the name of Yahushua, I say to you, heed these words. But before I get into this segment, O Yasharal, and you notice the color red, for I believe this is akin to gaining information and further understanding of the purpose of the feast time atonement. And one of the things that you may have heard me speak of, if you haven't already, if not, go back and look, and you'll see that there are several recordings in the beginning of White Rose family discussing how each of the seven feast times brings about a purpose that can be passed from generation to generation. And I have allowed, I shouldn't say I have allowed, who am I? I was compelled to bring up the purpose of the feast days and I was allowed by permission of the Almighty Father to present some colors to help different ones memorize, recognize, that the feast time is more than just gathering and eating. This segment will prove to have some alignment with the feast purpose of the Feast of Atonement. With that said, my brothers and sisters, let me read the following before I continue. Warning and disclaimer. The information contained in White Rose Family represent instructions and warnings to individuals who believe they are drawn by the Almighty Creator Yahuwah to Yahushua Mashiach. The content presented centers around end time realities. Please be advised this site is not intended for children under 16 years of age due to its content. And that's to be compliant with the media platforms that I use, my brothers and sisters. By continuing forward, you agree to hold seminar harmless of any influence and or actions that arise as a result of watching, listening, and reviewing the content presented. The views expressed do not reflect the owners, management, and or shareholders of this media platform. Also note that I am not affiliated with anyone or organization with similar names. With that said, my brothers and sisters, let's get into this subject matter. Enclosed, sealed, released, flow of the spirit. You see, my brothers and sisters, many of us hunger for unity at this point. We desire Yasharal to come together and be united. We desire to witness the hand of the Almighty Father bring his children together. And many of us expect and desire to witness physical deliverance back to a land that he has promised he has given. My brothers and sisters, I will present to you how our spirit is enclosed in these earthen vessels, how the seal is the blood of the lamb, Yahushua, and how the release is to bring it forward to confirm, to confirm, to reaffirm, to bring forward all that is necessary, my brothers and sisters, all that is necessary regarding this journey, this walk, our worship to the Almighty Father. Enclosed, our spirit is enclosed in these earthen vessels, sealed. Our lives are sealed by the blood of the Lamb, released when it is confirmed and reaffirmed and becomes even more visible with each passing moment. The flowing of the spirit of Yahushua, it comes by recognizing his sacrifice, his resurrection, 
this imparting of his spirit into us, joined with our spirit. Hear, O Yasharal, hear these instructions regarding the great release. I have three video recordings that will speak of a great release. There are other things where I've spoken of, but three specifically. I began working on this segment, my brothers and sisters, and I believed the title was going to be one thing, but I inquired of the Most High. With each passing moment, I prayed and asked, and as I began to organize the message, I found myself stumbling and struggling. And I know if the Almighty Father gives you a message, it should not be an uneasiness. It should be more of a strengthening, a humbling. So I stopped in my tracks yesterday and I began to pray. And I spoke to my Isha even. I said, you know, I'm a little bit troubled by the title that I have for this next one. I'm a little bit troubled about the way things are flowing. So I said, I committed before the Lord. I cr committed it before the Almighty Father, Yahushua. You see how the flesh war against the spirit? About to have me say some pagan term. But Yasharal, oh Yasharal, hallelujah for deliverance. I went to sleep, and as I rose this morning, the Most High gave me what to title this, how to title this, and what to present. He also gave to me the need, my brothers and sisters, to present the next two videos that will come after this. Again, the title of this segment is Enclosed, Sealed, Release. Enclosed, Sealed, Release. My brothers and sisters, Expectations are growing. Anxiousness is swelling up. Some are even overly eager in stepping out of the path of set-apart directions. Hear these instructions, O Yasharal. The great release has begun. And it will prove over the coming days that we will witness nothing much, nothing more or less than a release unfolding before our very eyes, proving that we are indeed in these end times and that the Day is approaching for the physical return of Yahushua Mashiach. Hear these instructions, O Yasharal. As I stated, three very important end time messages. If you desire to receive one of the most important end time messages, listen to White Rose Family by Seminar number 52. That's this segment right now. Listen to this in its entirety. Then upon listening to this, look forward to and listen to view the closing scroll part four. In addition, look forward to judgment warnings and instruction number 11. Each of the above listed videos are in a, will be I have here are in a separate playlist. The other two have not been recorded yet, but they will be in a separate playlist and I will have a special playlist with all three of them together so you can listen to the messages. For these are some very critical messages if you want to be able to know how to endure what is about to unfold before our very eyes. In order to get the fullness of this message, it is advised that you listen to all three once they are complete. Consider sharing it with others. With that said, the great release have begun. Let me start, my brothers and sisters, by reading the following. Discern the seal and the blood. It's going to be important. As end times prove to be extreme, my brothers and sisters, our emotions, our mental states are about to be tested. Tried, disciplined, and refined. Hear these words, O Yashara. Revelation 7, 1 through 3 says, And after this I saw four messengers standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another messenger coming up from the rising of the sun, holding the seal of the living Almighty One. 
And he cried with a loud voice to the four messengers to whom it was given to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees, until we have sealed the servants of our Almighty One upon their foreheads. I will submit to you, my brothers and sisters, in the coming videos, along with this one, that the seal is indeed the blood of the Lamb, Yahushua. That the seal is when the Almighty Father confirms and reaffirms, and we know that we are indeed His. And those who will fulfill these end times will understand that the seal is the blood of the Lamb. Pray and watch. You will look, and I will present the case that in many cases, my brothers and sisters, the Most High has given us the identity, the instructions to let us know that the seal, and yes, it's akin to a sealant. You ever hear somebody say, put a sealant on that wall or on that car, or if they're getting ready to paint something, they say, put a sealant, put a coat of sealant on there. That's a covering. Even if you look at the seal in its most simplest, when you see in the ancient of days, they took wax and covered an envelope, a scroll even was co covered with wax. And then there was an embossing in the wax. And that seal represented the wax with that embossing. I submit to you the seal, my brothers and sisters, is the blood of the Almighty Father. And the embossing represents the evidence of the Almighty Father, Yahuwah, upon us. Revelation 7, 3 again, do not harm the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees until we have sealed the servants of our almighty one upon their foreheads. I say to you, Yashara, proof will come and we will know what the seal is. And why is this important? Because we, I have mentioned before how in 2 Thessalonians it said, until that which restraineth is removed, the anti-Messiah cannot rise to his full position until he who restrained is removed. And I say to you, O Yasharal, I've said this on more than one occasion. We are that which restrain the anti-Mashiach, the anti-Christ, the beast from rising up to full power. And it is we who are to fulfill the final exodus, the final gathering. And for those of you who are not familiar with what I'm talking about, I will share with you Second Thessalonians 2, 7, for the secret of lawlessness is already at work, but only until he who now restrains come out of the midst. 2 Thessalonians 2, 7, my brothers and sisters. Many people will lean and have leaned on this passage to reference a rapture. No, my brothers and sisters, this represents what will happen before the final exodus. Let me continue. Let's examine John chapter 3. John chapter 3 reads as follows. Yahushua answered, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and of the spirit, he is unable to enter into the reign of the almighty one. That which has been born of the flesh is flesh, and that which has been born of the spirit is spirit. Make no mistake, my brothers and sisters. We will grow to understand the importance of water and spirit. Spirit being our inward man, spirit being the almighty father, Yahuwah, everywhere at all times, who we are joined and restored into fellowship, who we are drawn to, Yahushua Mashiach. The water represents his word coming forth where we can hear him and understand him, where we can receive his instructions and learn how to appropriately worship and obey him. Yashara O Yashara, the water and the spirit. We're born the water is symbolic of his word. The spirit symbolic of the life that he is and that he gives. Who has given prayer to the composition of water 
and blood. You see, my brother and sister, we look at the words, we talk about them, oh, that's simple, and we take it for granted. We don't ask enough questions, my brothers and sisters. We don't ask enough questions of each other as it pertains to this walk, as it pertains to examining things. This is one of the reasons why many of us find ourselves burned, misled in the wrong community, camp, group, or fellowship. We don't ask enough questions. And like I say, I believe without a doubt that the feast times, the seven major feast times represent instructions that will help us to better examine ourselves and vet those we come in contact with, including communities, camps, and fellowships. Let us consider what makes up water and what makes up blood, O Yasharal. Another word for water is H2O, hydrogen, two elements of hydrogen, or is it two atoms of hydrogen, two, two elements of hydrogen and oxygen. I'm not a scientist nor a chemist, but H2O is another word, but we know oxygen is in there. And oxygen is a gas, so they say. But ox H2O, <coughs> water having oxygen in it, oxygen in the air, where did it come from? And I submit to you, by the breath of the Almighty Father, we are able to breathe and live by his word. Blood. Did you know that blood, a large percentage of blood is plasma and 90% of the plasma is water? Naturally, literally speaking. Uh, and again, my disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, not a biologist, so search these yourself. But I want to bring your attention to that when we look at water, we don't think about what is it made of, what makes up water. But in these end times, we will understand the value of water as it relates to these physical bodies, the value of fresh water, the value of blood, how our blood circulates through our bodies to help regenerate the cells. We will understand the value of blood from a natural medical and literal perspective in its simplest way to its more complex way in such a way that we will see how the blood of the lamb, Yahushua, the word of the almighty father as water, how the almighty father sent his set apart spirit in Yahushua's name to teach us and guide us. We will understand and begin to respond in such a way, O Yasharal, it will indeed reflect a release Sealed by the blood of Yahushua, our spirit enclosed in these earthen vessels, we will witness being released. The elements of set apartness being released at a magnitude one could never imagine. Come with me, O Yashara, and consider these words. First John 5, 6, 7, and 8. Consider the life regarding water and blood. It says here, this is the one, 1 John chapter 5, verse 6 through 8. 1 John chapter 5, verse 6 through 8. This is the one that came by water and blood. Yahushua Messiah, not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit who bears witness because the spirit is the truth. Because there are three who bear witness, the spirit, the water, and blood. The spirit is, is his word. The water is his word. The blood is his word manifest in the flesh. O Yasharal, the spirit everywhere at all times brought to our attention through water, his word, made possible by the blood, the sacrifice of the blood of the Lamb, Yahushua. We will learn the importance of these, O Yasharal. Stay with me. Again, who has given prayer to the composition of water and blood? As I stated, around 55% of blood is made of plasma, and plasma is 90% water. Water, H2O, is a transparent, tasteless, odorless, and almost colorless chemical substance and covers over 70% of the Earth's surface. Fresh water, my brothers and sisters, is that which we consume for our life. 
No known life can live without it. Lakes, oceans, seas, and rivers are made of water. But I say to you, my brothers and sisters, it is fresh water that brings about something more important, something that we have taken for granted. Yasharal, my brothers and sisters, this might seem repetitive and, and it might seem redundant, but I say to you, it is important that we begin to recognize and understand the importance of Yahushua's blood to those who do not accept or yield to the Mashiach, Yahushua, to those who fail to recognize that he is indeed Yahuwah's word manifest in the flesh, sacrificed, resurrected, so that we may have life and life everlasting. They will receive all that they need to receive to prove them wrong. We who seek and hunger and thirst and who are drawn by the Almighty Father and thirst after him, and hunger for his righteousness, we will grow to understand the importance of Yahushua's blood. There's more on the blood, my brothers and sisters. More on the blood of the Lamb, Yahushua. John chapter 6, verse 54 through 56 reads, He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood possesses everlasting life, and I shall raise him up in the last day. Let me say this, my brothers and sisters. You hear me say often, ask questions. Consider these words. Eat my flesh. When you eat flesh, what happens? See, we don't think about all the dynamics and processes that occur. We eat food. Our body digests it. It breaks it down to the most simplest of form. And our bodies extract the nutrients, the things that the body needs to survive from a natural perspective. When we drink something, our body breaks down the dynamics of the things we've drunk. We have drunk or the things we drink. Our body absorbs all that is necessary to sustain itself. So when the Mashiach say, eat my flesh, it is where our bodies, our minds, our spirit should seek the most simplest to the most complex of what we can get from the embodiment of Yahushua Mashiach. And when they say, drink my blood, we should recognize that through his blood came all the things that was necessary to make us whole and alive, my brothers and sisters. No, it's not talking about cannibalism. It's talking about understanding the dynamics of the importance of breaking down the things that we've received that we can touch and feel that is set apart as well as that which we cannot. And he used blood because it is the covering of Yahushua's blood. It's the seal of Yahushua's blood. That is what made it possible for us to rise up in the spirit of life, everlasting life, my brothers and sisters. John 6, 55 and 56 say, For my flesh is truly food and my blood is truly drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood stays in me and I in him. Hear these words, O Yasharal. There is more. Living water. My brothers and sisters, Yahuwah answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of the Almighty One, who it is who says to you, Give me drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Living water, my brothers and sisters. I will submit to you, as I said before, we will discover that by reading the scriptures, my brothers and sisters, we will discover that by reading the scriptures, we can read one thing and get something out of it. And we can read it again and get something out of it. And we can read it again and get even more out of it. Yashara, have you ever read a passage of scripture and someone else read it and the two of you got something different? Before you try to convince one another that you are right or they try to convince you that they're right, ask the question, can these two join hand in hand? Can they be a part? of the whole of Yasharal, 
are they totally, totally different and they conflict and battle with one another. If they battle with one another, someone is wrong. Put the matter before the Almighty Father and seek counsel. Seek him, seek counsel for further understanding. If they can join hand in hand, if they can coexist, then you're receiving an example of how his word can be endless water. You see, it's more than just circulating the scriptures from Genesis, circulating and recirculating the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. It's more than just reading the scriptures from cover to cover and keep going over and over again. There's something more to get in every time you read it that joins and connects. We will recognize the power of living water, how his words, how the text can come alive and give us so much more, more than we could have ever imagined beyond what the physical eyes can see and hear. So much more. Prepare, O Yashara, for this is important during these end times. Consider John 7, 38 and 39. It reads, all the scriptures said, out of his innermost shall flow rivers of living water. As the scripture said, rather, as the scripture said, out of his innermost shall flow rivers of living water. You see, my brothers and sisters, this is telling us out of the innermost shall flow rivers of water. It is talking about the words of set apartness, the words from the almighty father, words that we have yet to hear and that we have heard and that we will hear again. Words that generate energy and power and set apartness words that will prove to be from him. He goes on to say in the 39th verse, this is the seventh chapter of John. And this he said concerning the spirit, which those believing in him were about to receive for the set apart spirit was not yet given because Yahushua had not, was not yet esteemed. Yasharal, Yasharal, end times are here. It is time for us to recognize the power of the blood. It's time for us to recognize all that the Most High would have us to understand, to strengthen us for what is about to come. People and things will take, people and things we take for granted will change. Things such as fresh water, things such as food, things such as having a safe place to be. End time will prove that as diseases, not just the coronavirus, and the coronavirus they have now renamed to COVID-19, COVID-19. Look that up, my brothers and sisters. But the novel coronavirus and coronavirus have now been named COVID-19. It is spreading like a wildfire across the planet, my brothers and sisters. And soon and very soon, it will prove that the scroll is closing. I have dev devoted a specific playlist to talk more about the scroll, something that I've mentioned before in other segments. My brothers and sisters, there are individuals, children, young and adult, male and female that are echoing words to build up the set apart family of Yasharal. Words are going forward, my brothers and sisters, and we will learn how to not take for granted the instructions, the simplest of questions that are going before us. It's time for us to appreciate what the Almighty Father is providing and recognize it. And let us not kick against the living orders from the Almighty Father. Let me say more on living water, my brothers and sisters. For the blood of the Lamb is so important. Without it, we could not identify the life in the water of his word. In some cases, we probably couldn't identify how we take fresh water for granted fully unless we understand who is it that made it so. It is the Almighty Father. In Ephesians 5, 25 through 27, it says, Husbands, love your wives, as Messiah also loved the assembly and gave himself for it. Now, though this literal passage is giving instructions to husbands, with, and it says, Love your wives. And yes, I believe in polygyny. Some people are directed to demonstrate in a set apart way what polygyny means. And some are directed to not have a wife at all. And some are directed to have one wife. 
Let us not take the convictions of one and try to push it on everybody. For the convictions are those instructions which come from the Almighty Father. So though it's talking about husband, love your wife, many miss the part when it say, just as the Messiah loved the assembly and gave himself for it. And if we are to be like Messiah, like Mashiach Yahushua, then we should love one another as the Messiah loved the assembly. And he goes on to say, in order to set it apart and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, I submit to you, we will be cleaned up, O Yashra. And just as Revelation 7 chapter talk about our roles being washed in the blood of the Lamb, I submit to you, by the blood of Yahushua, by his word, the word from the Almighty Father, we will be made white. We will be made right. We will be made set apart like we could have never imagined. It goes on to say, in order to present it to himself, a splendid assembly, not having spot or wrinkle or any of this sort, that it might be set apart and blameless. I submit to you, O Yasharal, we are about to witness. As we move forward, we are about to witness coming together in unity without spot or wrinkle. In other words, there will not be compromises and people using several different names to name the Almighty Father, Yahuwah. There will not be compromises and people using several different names to name Yahushua HaMashiach, Yahuwah's word manifest in the person of Yahushua. There will be unity. Soon and very soon, the chosen leaders will exact judgment as directed by the Almighty Father to bring about the unity that is required to fulfill the 144,000 and great multitude mentioned in the seventh chapter of Revelation. Forward movement. We will see being covered by the blood of Yahushua will prove that those who are covered have acknowledged and recognized the seal. And in that seal, my brothers and sisters, we will recognize that within that seal, under the blood of the Lamb of Yahushua, comes the tabernacle of Yahuwah, functioning and set apartness. We, that house of Yahuwah, we, that tabernacle, by the blood of Yahuwah, we're able to have that structure. And through his word and spirit, we will release the set apart instructions, demonstrations, and actions that we are so ordered. Forward movement has begun, O Yasharal, and there are plans for such movement. Know the importance of the blood of Yahushua, my brothers and sisters. Know how to quickly get under the blood and yield. Yield, my brothers and sisters. Learn how to yield to the blood of Yahushua when we know we've made a mistake, when we know we're wrong. Seek forgiveness, yield to reproof, and rise up new. As our brother Shaul said, I die day by day. But he also talked about being renewed. And I read the passage of knowing that our outward man perish. But our inward man is being renewed day by day. Recognize these matters, O Yasharal. There are plans. White Rose family has a plan. It is a plan, my brothers and sisters, that will build a set-apart team of leaders, vetted, chosen by the Almighty Father, to come together for the joining and knitting together of the set-apart body of Yasharal who will fulfill end-time prophecies. Yasharal, White Rose family, a plan to develop an information and resource center vir virtually and physically, providing information, answers, questions, directions to those who are drawn to the Almighty Father, to build a team with diverse skill sets, mentoring young, knowing what to do, what to grow into, as we find ourselves being refined and disciplined by the hand of the Almighty Father, to purchase land in Virginia that I believe it would be an exit point for those in the Western Hemisphere before we start leaving in mass numbers towards the promised land, to identify and support safe zones, zones that have been marked by the Almighty Father for us to stop and refresh and refuel and revitalize as we make our journey towards the promised land, to provide guidance and support for completing the journey ahead. For some, it would be to a spot where they will face physical death to demonstrate the final words from the Almighty Father. To some, it would be to a spot where they will face physical death and be martyrs for Yahushua's name. 
For others, it would be that last place where Yahuwah, the Almighty Father, will have them speak out to others, letting them know that he is real, he is alive, and that this plan is unfolding. And to those and to the millions who will be gathered from the four corners of the earth, White Robes family by Semini has a, has a plan, my brothers and sisters. Make no mistake to provide guidance for the inner court, the set-apart children of Yahuwah, to provide instructions and demonstration regarding what to do as we find ourselves waiting on Yahushua Mashiach. Yasharal, my brothers and sisters, every plan, every action that we find ourselves facing ahead comes with a cost. Count those costs. We have skills, we have supplies, resources. Some of us have money. And many of each will find themselves contributing to the war, to the building up of a set apart nation that is awakening. We will move beyond just entertainment and cyclical venues. We will begin to move into the work that is necessary to forge a mighty set apart awakening nation. Proof comes, O Yasharal. Use what you have been given. Use what you have received by the favor of the Almighty Father. Use it or lose it. Realities and truth are unfolding before our very eyes. As for me, I have set up a cash app, White Rose Family, if you care to contribute financially. I also have a PayPal account. Contact me so I can give you instructions on how to contribute that way. If you want to get involved, my brothers and sisters, if you want to divulge the skills and make known the many talents that the Most High has given you and seek how they fit into the body of Yashara as we are coming together, reach out, O Yashara. Reach out to those you believe the Almighty Father is working through. I invite your fellowship, your questions, your communication. I invite your interactions. If indeed you believe you are drawn by the Almighty Father, if indeed you believe you are one who pursue his will and believe you are directed. Let us come together, O Yasharal. I have no doubt that those who are indeed children of the Almighty Father will come together. Proof comes, it's unfolding. And I say to you, O Yasharal, end times are here. Our inward man is enclosed in these bodies. We have been sealed by the blood of the Lamb, Yahushua. And there is, there, there has been, have been, there is, and there will be proof of what it means to be released. Releasing the spirit within us. Speaking the words and demonstrating the actions of set of partners. The greatest of all release is about to happen in such a magnitude. And for the wicked ones, a release of famine, pestilence, disease, earthquakes, meteor showers, volcanic activity, tsunamis, and so much more, O Yashara, economic upheaval, civil unrest, the great release. On one side, you're going to discover there's a release of set apart instructions and orders for us to grow into, O Yashara. On the other side, there's a release of instructions of trying to forge a one world government and get people to worship the beast and the false prophet and worship the wicked one. Two sides, my brothers and sisters. We who are set apart, Yashara, represents the children of the Almighty Father Yahuwah. A great release is coming from both sides. The ultimate battle is coming. And there are a lot of things that will happen between now and the physical turn, return of Yahushua Mashiach. There are two more videos, O Yashara, that I will speak of on this great release. They are critical in order to receive the full dynamics, the fullness of it. One must understand the power of the blood of the lamb, the power of his word, the power of water, the power of the blood, the power of his spirit, the power of he who is a consuming fire. Yashara, come and hear these words for there are no rewind buttons. There are no retakes, save the media platforms saying hit rewind, but the actions that we do today cannot be redone tomorrow. 
Believe it or not, even if we try to do exactly what we did today, tomorrow, it will not be exactly the same. Every passing moment represents a demonstration of our relationship with the Almighty Father, O set apart children of Yahuwah. And the wicked one is ramping up his actions, but make no mistake, the Almighty Father will prove our position when it comes to his promises regarding discipline, vengeance, and wrath. Stay tuned, O Yashraal. There is so much more to come, so much more to be said. Ask questions. Seek. For the Almighty Father knows all. He hears all. On that note, I say to you, O Yashraal, enclosed, sealed, release, flow of the Spirit. Understand this order. Understand these dynamics. I salute you, my brother, my sister, my family. In the name of Yahushua, I say to you, much shalom to you, my family.